If you are looking to pursue a career in cloud or maybe you are learning things to get into the cloud domain, then getting a AWS certification to validate your expertise will surely help you to achieve a great heights. There are people who implementing AWS cloud for a long but still have no or little information about AWS certification. If you're working with AWS, it is very important to know how many AWS certifications are there, which one you should choose and how it can benefit you. I welcome you all to yet another episode of weekly video series from K21 Academy where we take you in a journey from complete beginner to a certified professional. This video will serve as AWS certification roadmap. Here we will be covering topics like why AWS certifications, after that what exactly AWS certification is, then which AWS certification should I get? After that, I'll be heading towards type of AWS certifications. We will be discussing about all the AWS certification. And finally, how to prepare for AWS certifications and some FAQs. In the end, we will also share details about our free AWS masterclass, which will not only help you to learn basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow. Without any further ado, let's get started. So before starting anything or choosing anything, we always have a question in our mind like why we should choose this thing, right? So similarly, let's see why AWS certifications. AWS is world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform. Being a leader in cloud market, the value of AWS certifications is great in all the aspects. And in the cloud market, AWS itself holds 52% market share. So that some of the big name companies like Netflix, BBC, Facebook, Spotify, LinkedIn are using Amazon Web Service. According to a report by Gretner, Amazon's cloud currently 10 times bigger than its 14 competitors combined. This clearly shows that more and more organizations are opting for AWS, which directly indicates that more career opportunities coming your way if you are AWS certified. Being a AWS certified shows that you have most industry centric knowledge that validated by world's leader in the cloud market. Certification are a great way to demonstrate your skills to potential employees. After earning a certification, 26% report job promotions and 35% technical professionals says getting certified led to increase in salary. Updating your profile with AWS certificate will increase your chances of getting chosen and obviously a company more likely to work with a certified individual rather than who isn't. These are some of the job posting in India as well as in United States. The demand for AWS certified professionals exponentially increasing. And if we talk about the average salary for AWS certified engineer, it is 116K USD per annum in USA and around 6 lakhs INR per year in India. Now, if you don't know about AWS certification, let me tell you what is AWS certification. In general, AWS certification is concerned with the certification program provided by Amazon Web Service that help you to validate your expertise in cloud domain after passing a particular examination. There are various modules that come under AWS certification and can choose the relevant one based on your preferences and requirements. In addition to it, AWS certification are most demanded and preferable aspects by almost every IT giants such as Amazon, IBM, Uber, etc. While looking out for cloud professionals, there are remarkable benefit of AWS certifications like it help you to showcase your cloud expertise across the world through digital badges or certifications and AWS certified individuals get worldwide career opportunities with better paybacks in comparison to other and also you will get a chance to connect with other billion minds through AWS certified community. Amazon Web Services provide cloud computing platform to large group of companies. In order to shift the task and workload to the cloud, organization needs someone with specific set of skills for deploying, monitoring and managing the application in the cloud. The AWS certification exams test the competency of candidate and make it easier for them to gain position and work with AWS. There are various AWS certification which can be earned. Wondering which AWS certification is fit for you and you should go ahead with each and every person come from different starting points, right? So the answer for this question depends on your current skills and experience and what your career objectives are. Therefore, I would like to start with an overview of different level of certification offered by AWS and how they relate your background. We will be heading towards all the AWS certification in upcoming slides. Let me tell you from year 2019, AWS removed the prerequisite for all AWS certifications. 
So this means you can now take any of AWS certification at any time. You don't need to complete other certification first. Now you only need to focus on your skills and experience. You might be asking about what about knowledge, right? Whether you're a beginner, intermediate or an expert, in K21 Academy, we take you from basics to advanced level and help you to get certified. Now let's see types of AWS certification. So AWS currently offer 11 certification, including six core certification and five specialty certification. Basically, AWS organize its core certification into three parts, starting from foundational, and then you can advance to associate and professional level certifications. Now let's see each of them one by one. The first one is AWS Cloud Practitioner. It is a foundational level certification and help you to gaining basic understanding of cloud with a special focus on Amazon Web Service. It's basically intended for freshers or who wants to start their cloud journey. If I talk about the experience, so candidates should have six months of working experience in AWS and understanding of IT services used in AWS. The next one is architect. This particular AWS certification part is designed for solution architect and everyone who wishes to learn and develop application and system on AWS platform. It includes AWS certified solution architect associate and AWS certified solution architect professional. The next one is developer and operations. This path is especially designed for software developer who are interested in learning how to create cloud application on AWS and how they work. That includes AWS certified developer, AWS certified sysop administrator and AWS certified DevOps engineer. Finally, speciality. Speciality AWS certification that are more specialized. These certifications focus on specific AWS services, but the level of technical expertise required is very deep. You need to be an expert in your chosen speciality before taking these exams. And this level of AWS certification includes AWS certified machine learning, AWS certified advanced networking, AWS certified data analytics, AWS certified security, and AWS certified database. So if we talk about the experience level, so foundational level certification, you should have six months of fundamental AWS cloud industry knowledge. For associate level, you should have at least one year of experience solving problem and implementing the solution using AWS cloud. For professional level, you should have at least two years of comprehensive experience designing, operating and troubleshooting solution using AWS cloud. And for specialty level, you need to be an expert in your chosen specialty before taking these exams. I hope you are clear with all the AWS certifications. As we all know that preparation for any examination is not so easy. To pass an exam, we need to follow a correct path, right? Now let's move ahead and discuss some of the common AWS certifications exam preparation tips and some FAQs. The first steps towards becoming an AWS certified will be taking relevant learning path. In K21 Academy, we offer learning paths covering all you need to know in each certification area. These learning paths include courses, labs and exam for each certification. The next step will be review the outline in the exam guide. It is very important to know all the basic information about that particular certification exam which you are planning to choose. For all the exam guide, you can visit aws.amazon.com slash certification and you will get all the certification listed over here and click on any of them which you are going to choose. Let's say I'm choosing a associate level certification that is AWS Solution Architect. You will get all the basic information about this exam and even you can download the exam guide by clicking right here. The next one will be proper hands-on practice on AWS platform. Hands-on lab provides easy way for you quickly get practical experience on real cloud environment without deploying your own infrastructure. AWS offer free tier account for 12 months, which is more than enough to explore AWS platform and all the services. After gaining a good amount of hands-on experience, it is right time to go for practice test. Learning exam content is necessary, but not enough. If you want to perform well, you must practice through AWS practice exam. As these tests contain the actual structure, or we can say the blueprint, you can also try some full length practice test as they are more beneficial to find weak areas and it's your responsibility to make improvement on them. I would like to invite you for 90 minute free class with our AWS certified expert trainer. 
which will not only help you to learn basics but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow this interactive session will help you to gaining an understanding of why and who should learn aws cloud services cloud deployment model and aws services demo on creating s3 bucket and make a data available to entire world identity and access management compute storage networking and more other topics you can register for this free class by visiting k21academy.com slash aws sa02 when you are all done with your preparation and confident enough it is right time to enroll for the examination choose online mode or any testing center near to your location by following these steps you will definitely pass the exam i wish you all the best now check out some faqs like i'm new to cloud from where to start what are the best way to prepare for aws certification exam what's next after aws solution architect associate and more other faqs you can check out them by visiting k21academy.com slash aws 14 if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up if you have any doubts or queries you can put them down in the comment section we will get back to you as soon as possible till then take care